हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट इस कंटिन्यू विद द केमिकल थर्मोडायनामिक्स यूनिट्स ऑफ एनर्जी एंड वर्क सो वन जूल इज इक्वल टू वन जूल इज इक्वल टू वन किलोग्राम मीटर स्क्वायर सेकेंड स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू वन पास्कल मीटर क्यूब वन पास्कल मीटर क्यूब एंड दिस वन पास्कल इज इक्वल टू वन पास्कल इज इक्वल टू वन किलोग्राम वन किलोग्राम मीटर इन वर्स सेकेंड स्क्वायर अकॉर्डिंग टू इक्वेशन नंबर फोर पॉइंट फाइव इक्वेशन नंबर फोर पॉइंट फाइव डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू वर्क डन इज गिवन बाई डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू माइनस पी ई एक्स टी इन टू डेल्टा वी दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर फोर पॉइंट फाइव इफ दिस एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर इज टेकन इन बार एंड द वॉल्यूम चेंज इज टेकन इन डी एम क्यूब देन द यूनिट ऑफ वर्क डन विल बिकम बार डी एम क्यूब बार डी एम क्यूब नो दिस वन बार इज इक्वल टू वन बार इज इक्वल टू टेन रेज टू फाइव पास्कल एंड वी हैव सीन ऑलरेडी वॉट इज वन पास्कल इज इक्वल टू वन किलोग्राम मीटर इन वर्स सेकेंड स्क्वायर सो इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग दिस पास्कल आई विल राइट किलोग्राम मीटर इन वर्स सेकेंड स्क्वायर सो वन बार इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू टेन रेज टू फाइव टेन रेज टू फाइव किलोग्राम मीटर इन वर्स सेकेंड स्क्वायर then 1 dm cube bar 1 dm cube bar will be equal to instead of writing dm cube i will write meter cube into 10 raised to minus 3 remaining pascal is equal to 10 raised to 5 kg meter in was second square so i will write it as it is 10 raised to 5 kg meter in was second square now this meter meter will get cancelled remaining will be meter square another thing which is remaining is kilogram and this second square so and this 10 raised to minus 3 and 10 raised to 5 will be equal to 100 so this will be equal to 100 kilogram meter in meter square 100 kilogram meter square second square second square so you have already seen kilogram meter square second square kilogram meter square second square is equal to 1 joule So instead of writing this kilogram meter square second square, I will write joules. That will be equal to hundred joule. So this was about the units of energy and work. Let us continue with the next next topic. Concept of concept of maximum work concept of maximum work now according to equation number 4.5 work done is given by w is equal to minus p e x t into delta v this is equation number 4.5 now the work done depends upon the work done depends upon the external pressure work done depends upon the external pressure more the external pressure more amount of work is to be done by the system to overcome the external pressure so more the external pressure more work is to be done by the system to overcome the external pressure if this external pressure is equal to zero if this external pressure is zero no work is obtained no work is obtained if this external pressure is greater than the pressure of gas if this external pressure is greater than the pressure of gas in that case the process will get reversed the process will get reversed now see here if this external pressure pext is greater than pressure of gas means the opposing force is greater than the driving force in that case the process will get reversed it will get reversed so it should be noted that the external pressure cannot be greater than the pressure of gas the opposing force cannot be greater than the driving force it should be maximum it should be maximum the pressure of uh, external pressure or the opposing force can be maximum it cannot be greater than the driving force or pressure of the gas now see the equation number 4.5 again we are saying the saying that the external pressure should not be greater than the 
pressure of gas or opposing force should not be greater than the driving force it should be maximum it should be maximum if the difference between external pressure and pressure of gas is delta p p minus p e x t is equal to is equal to delta p p e x t is pressure external pressure and p is the pressure of gas so the difference between external pressure and pressure of gas is equal to delta p we can write p e x t is equal to p minus delta p now put the value of this p e x t in equation number 4.5 we will get w is equal to w is equal to minus p minus delta p p minus delta p into delta v now look at this delta p look at this delta p change in volume now this delta p should be smallest it should be smallest that means delta p we are saying that this delta p should be smallest that means the difference between driving force and opposing force the difference between external pressure and pressure of gas should be smallest in that case or this is the condition described for the reversible process the same condition is described for reversible process now when the process is thermodynamically reversible in that case you get the maximum work you will get the maximum work so where you get the maximum work where the process is thermodynamically reversible so this is the condition for maximum work the driving force should be infinite similarly greater than the opposing force the driving force should be infinite similarly greater than the opposing force or pressure of the gas pressure of the gas should be infinite similarly greater than the external pressure in that case you will get the maximum work so this was the concept for maximum work okay thank you uh, remaining part will be continuing in next lecture inshallah thank you